hi queens welcome back to another beautiful content today are you all doing so if this is your first time of seeing my face my name is dami you're welcome so straight down into the video guys yeah i'm using a mattifying primer to prime my brows so that it can stay in place all day and i'm using my remake steamer primer for that now with my juvia's place setting powder i'll be setting my brow in place you want to do this so that your pencil can glide on smoothly taking my spoolie i'll be brushing my brow hairs in place taking my well sharpened marble pencil i will be outlining my brows in the shape in which they grow and um most likely in the shape i want them to be because i really i don't really have a full brow my brows are, are quite sparse so i just give them a shape that suits my face You want to make sure you are doing this with a well sharpened pencil if along the line your pencil goes blunt please go back to sharpen your pencil because that's the only thing that can give you a very very perfect and creeps outline Now that the outline is fine, I'm brushing my brow hair in place in preparation to start filling them in and with the same pencil, I'll be going back to just fill every sparse area. Now this filling in can be as thick as you want. This is your own preference. If you like them bold, very thick, you can deepen your strokes. If you like them light, you go soft handed with this process. So, um, anyone you want, anything that rocks your boat. So taking my spoolie now, I'll be blending my brow in place. Now this process will help to soften your brow. That is if in case you went too ash, this will take away any excess product you might have and it will make it look very very soft and natural. So guys, I went back and I sharpened my pencil all over again and here I'm just giving the front of my hair some hair-like stroke, just giving some strokes upwards to mimic hairs like I want that place to be a bit fuller because they are quite sparse. So going back in with my spoolie, I'm just blending that in guys.
To clean up my brows, I'll be using my Hele Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn with this very, very nice, flat, straight brush. So yeah, this is the brush I really like to use. You can also use um, the Oval Shape Concealer Brush. It works well as well, but lately I've been tending towards this flat, um, straight tip brush. It works well for me. So with the leftover concealer on my brush, I'll be cleaning the top part of my brow. Now guys, for this process, you want to take your time. Hmm? Hmm. If you mistakenly clean away most of your brow, you will be so pained. Like, <laughs> this, happened, this has happened to me severally and it's always so painful, especially when you've gotten that perfect shape for your brow and all of a sudden, one mistake just happened and BAM! The whole thing just looks kind of crazy with one kind of shape you don't understand anymore so you just want to take your process there sorry you just want to take your time here guys I'll be using this dense blending brush to blend out the concealer. I'll take this air wax edge control and I'll use this to brush my brow hairs 
up so that it can stay in place all day. So guys, I'll be going back in to set my brows with my setting powder. This we actually give that brow a very very soft outcome. Like it's going to soften the brow totally. So I'll be going back with my spoolie to brush out the excess powder I have left on my brows. Can you see how soft my brows are looking now guys you don't want to skip this step like i love doing this step i love it and here you have it guys both brows well done this has brought us to the end of the video please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any new video from me i'll see you in my next one bye